look, I'm I'm already prepared for everything I need to be prepared for. I'm not gonna go look for the Holy Grail on some pretentious trip to Europe. You know? I'm set. I'm set. I wake up. I work. I come home. I go to bed. I sleep like an angel. That's life for me. I mean, you, you know how we used to bounce around all the time. I just, I just don't want that for myself. I know you call that being a, a shoe in the mud, but I'm content, so. I don't want to talk to him. How am I supposed to man something that wasn't there to begin with? You know, he was supposed to watch over us and provide for us. I mean, he didn't fucking do that. He just got up and walked out the door one day. I don't care if that's not the truth. That's how I see it. I don't hate him. I don't remember him beating you. I remember nothing and that's the problem. You picked me up from school before I could drive. You made me lunch every day. You, you took me on road trips and taught me how to fish and cook and how to treat people well. And I love that. That you're still here for me. Talk to you soon, Mama. Love you. Good evening, Jack. Yeah? May I come inside? I'm sorry, who are you? I was a friend of your mother's. Could you give me a little more than that? Or... I have some unfortunate news, Jack. Yeah, I'm kind of busy, so could you come back later? Or... I've come a long way. I promise I mean you no harm. If anything, now come inside and rest my legs for a moment. If you need me to leave after that, then so be it. Yeah, come on in. So, what's your poison? 
Do you have any tea? Is Jasmine okay? Your mother drank Jasmine tea. It has a swampy taste to it, but I'll never refuse an offer. Yeah. I used to say the same thing. I guess I just got used to it. So, uh... How do you know my mom? Like I said, I'm an old friend. How did you two meet? Do I know you or... I... met her on a beach somewhere. Some business trip after the divorce. You were there. You know, she was a remarkable woman. Had an impressive will. What do you mean by that? She let everything roll off her. Took it all in stride. Even when it was hard. I remember being bored on that trip. We stayed in this shitty motel. She kept having to leave. But I do have this, this picture right um It was a beautiful night, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, we used to go places like that all the time. So whenever we take to new in a motel, she she start this bit about why she needed a wet bed. And if it was cold in the room, she'd want the bed closer to the window. She said she wanted to wake up before me to make sure it was gonna be a beautiful day. I always think about that now. When someone walks in the room, where they sit. Loved her very much. Yeah, she's my mom. And your father? Not much to say. Why don't you like to talk about your father, Jack? Like I said, it's not much to say. Listen, uh, I think that we, as in everyone, will resist things that could change our outlook on life. It's clear you see your father as a failure, and you saw your mother as an angel. I could be wrong, but when was the last time you spoke with him? If your mother thought it was such a good idea, why are you so against it? Because that's the problem. I don't remember the last time I spoke with my dad. Look, people get divorced all the time. My mom and dad did too. So what? I'm not a unique case. But my dad could at least made an effort for me. You see, my mom, she talks to me every day. She doesn't have to. No one's telling her to. But she does. She's always with me. You know, you're doing it too. What exactly? Last time my mom came to visit me, we went to this beach. She started talking to me about life and dealing with things in a mature way. She placed this omen onto me, you know? She just expected me to take it and stride. You're doing it too.
you remember why she went on that trip? The trip with the picture. I was just a kid. She was getting your father help. You're right, Jack. Many people get divorced, but that is a process. Things get decided and it's not always someone's fault. I know for a fact he didn't fight for me. Weekends on, weekends off, times can be arranged. But what happens when they can't be? Is that always someone's fault? Is it his fault? We have to go somewhere. Don't patronize me. The apple falls. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Your mother married a drinker. So who's to say that drinking is your fault? I don't even know if that's true. I don't remember that. But it could have driven your parents apart. Somewhere in you, you're asking yourself. If it's your fault, you keep a flask in your jacket. Listen, Jack, everyone can be forgiven. That's no secret. And anyone can change. Tell me, if someone who truly loved you asked you to do something, would they? If they knew it would harm you? I don't know, okay? I don't know. I just know it's easier to say something like that when you put yourself in someone else's shoes. If I can believe something like that, then you can too, Jack. We're just ahead of you. Cold. I imagine the water is even colder. What do you need to wash away, Jack? Jack! Her last words to you, Jack. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I love you too.
hey hey dad it's it's jack yeah um i want to talk to you about mom